want you to imagine for a second that it's the end of the school year, you're about to graduate along with 350 or 400 of your closest friends. Now when you walk across that stage, the principal or some type of administrator is going to hand you something, a piece of paper, your diploma. And that diploma is a nice copy of exactly what you've succeeded at, you graduated high school. Fantastic. You open that diploma up, as assuming it's not a fake one, just for simplicity purposes, it will have the principal's signature on it. That means at some point the principal had to sit down and sign all 400 of those signatures by hand. That's a lot of work. Maybe carpal tunnel syndrome, who knows. But the point is, is that there's got to be a better way. There is. Of course there is. There's always a better way, an easier way, a more efficient way, some way to reduce somebody's workload. In this example, the better way is to create something called a stamp. It's like a, a signature stamp. Now imagine your principal signs their name on a nice piece of paper, hands it off to a company that specializes in creating these things. They build a rubberized version of the signature, stick it to a nice wooden handle, and send it back with a certificate of authenticity. This stamp is now a legal product, which means it can be used to sign that principal's name on anything, whether that is the graduation diplomas or a check, whatever it is, a contract, doesn't matter. That is now legally allowed to be used. Um, sometimes it's called a notarized stamp. Now, that's great. So that means that the, the principal no longer needs to sign their name over and over and over again, damaging their wrist. They just tap it in some ink and onto the page. Tap ink, onto the page. Just boom, 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 400 times, principal walks away. In fact, it doesn't even have to be the principal that does it anymore. The principal could hand it off to somebody else in the office and say, here, do this for me while I go supervise a class or something like that or watch the halls, whatever, there is, whatever it is the principal's doing at that point. They don't have to be the one to do it anymore. They can now hand off the work. They can delegate. That's great. That's a fantastic tool. So all the principal had to do was put up a little bit of upfront work to create this one stamp, this one stamp that is reusable until the end of time. All it requires to do its job is some ink. As long as there's ink and there's the stamp, the stamp can be used. What we're going to do in our in the next few modules is we're going to figure out how we can how we can emulate this idea in our programs where we can create one tool that we can reuse over and over and over again for those pieces of our programs that are used a lot. Maybe that's reading in data from the reading in data from the user. Maybe that's calculating something. Whatever it is, if it's repeated, I only want to do it once. And then I just want to say, hey, do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again, without having to write the code for it every single time. Sometimes that code may be simple, like a couple lines of code. But other times it may be very complicated, very math focused, or maybe really long. Something I don't want to have to do repeatedly over and over again. So our topic for the next few lessons is something called subprograms. Subprograms is the tool that we're going to create to simplify our lives.